Hi, today I'm trying a new concept of video, so it's gonna be a short series of uh, three videos in which I will review some apps this time. Uh, why? Because I think that this is a form of uh, help that can be useful, but not all the, the apps are um, efficient. So here I'm gonna show uh, some apps that have helped me personally, uh, maybe to help you find uh, the right one. So here in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, four apps about depression and uh, anxiety. So let's go. First, Wiza. With uh, this app you can talk to a little penguin like this. Um, so you have also exercises like a uh, breathing, visualization and a lot of things but uh, the conversation with this little penguin uh, isn't that great uh, so it's an uh, artificial intelligence uh, but finally it often advises you to talk to real psychologists and uh, it can help but only if you're not too depressed just feeling bad and uh, alone uh, it can feel good to write to uh, this little penguin to write down your your thoughts and uh, everything but he doesn't really know what to answer so finally he didn't help so much but it has a wide range of uh, exercises to sleep etc and uh, it's great but in an emergency situation it won't be enough then uh, you have Youper, it works a bit the same way, that's to say that you have a, a chat and uh, I find it of better quality than with uh, the little penguin from Wither but uh, soon you have to pay to have uh, a full access and uh, more exercises and uh, things so I find it too bad but the, the, the app is uh, really professional and uh, reliable and I really really enjoy it Another app that I love is Dare, but it's all in uh, spoken English, so if you're not a native speaker, it's quite uh, difficult to understand everything, even if uh, he speaks clearly, but uh, it requires a lot of concentration to listen uh, everything. Uh, I followed uh, the anxiety relief course and I found it uh, fine. Uh, but uh, you have to pay for the most useful content and I find it too bad and uh, quite uh, frustrating. Uh, with uh, this app you have also some audios for emergency situations like uh, panic attack, it's uh, in the SS section. And uh, I find it great, it can be a solution, I've, t I've tested, tested it for you and uh, it can be a solution, it can work. Uh, it's a little bit full of positive aff affirmations uh, that sounds uh, like bullshit sometimes, but it's still a good tool in my opinion. Uh, well, another good point is uh, that you can download everything to listen offline and when you have a really bad connection like me, it's good. <laughs> Finally, I've tried Depression CBT self-help guide on which there are audios uh, but it can be written so it's easier to understand this time. Um, it makes you feel less guilty about your depression and it helps you understand where uh, does it come from and uh, how does it work. Uh, so I won't say it really helps when you're down, but at least it's very interesting. Um, it has made me feel uh, more understood and uh, it has helped me uh, understand and explain to my close uh, ones what was uh, happening to me. Uh, since it's also a problem not to be uh, understood uh, by your close ones. So here you'll find a lot of uh, analogies and uh, metaphors to help you understand and uh, explain and uh, visualize uh, what, uh, what is depression and uh, then uh, explain. <laughs> Well, so I hope this can help a bit. I could have talked about a lot of uh, other apps, but I've only selected the ones that has uh, that have helped me the most. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe.